Hello friends, this is Mohan from Structural BD and welcome to my next video tutorial of 3 dimensional analysis of design of concrete structure using Instead Pro version V8i. And in this particular video, I am going to show you how to define earthquake load. And you can also define earthquake load in two different ways. I am going to show you the two different ways of how to assign earthquake load. The first one is using joint to it and the second one is using floor. So to start this video after assigning all the load i mean gravity load and then wind load then we are going to assign earthquake load so to calculate joint weight from this model then you have to save this model as save as as joint weight and then go to this b from z then click at support from this left side then create and pin support add this is pin support now take node cursor select all these nodes except the support so you have to select this way then select support 3 which is pin then assign yes then go to here command then analyze perform analyze okay then go to here analyze run analyze save then done and go to post processing okay then go to here report then support reaction and from here select force f y and the loading will be all should be here only dead load so for dead load we have to calculate the reaction force y then ok then click here on this node then control c then go to excel and click here then control b paste and you have this node number and this y force so delete all other column we need only y force delete okay so take this here then go to close this and close this model then open your regular model and now from load and definition go to here definition then you can see a seismic definition then add and here you have to select your code so I'm using UVC 94 so you have to select this as per your code and you have to fill up all this value as per your code department so I have this I have zone coefficient 0.15 importance factor 1 RW which is 8 for concrete structure site coefficient say 1.5 for low quality soil and city value it is for concrete st structure 0.073 and the period in x and y direction you can calculate using the formula the formula is ct into hn to the power 3 by 4 so my ct value is 0 0.73 into my building height is total height 69 feet and divided by 3.28 this is meter then to the power 3 by 4 so ct into hn to the power 3 by 4 this is 0 0.073 then enter you can see here the value is 0 0.71 so for both direction i have the value 0 0.71 7 then click add and cell point factor 1 add then close and select this load definition then add you can see here joint define a sample joint right say 5 keep then add close and select any node select the joint right then select any node from in your model then click assign to selected node assign yes now go to here you can see the symbol is start editor go to here save then go to at the bottom to find the joint right you will find that under earthquake load so you can see here the joint right is here yeah. so 150 is the node number then weight then 5 so go to your excel file where you have saved and now you can see here i have to insert a column here then write here weight and this should be in capital letter then copy this weight to all cell now copy this three column so take from here then copy go to this start editor again and paste here you can see here the first joint rate which is the sample joint rate then control v and from the top delete the sample one so i have this is the sample one delete so done then save 
close so now if you go to here you can see here lots of joint rate defined here so this is the way of defining by joint rate then you have to go to here go to here eqx then x, then click here seismic now first in direction x which is factor 1 add close ex minus add select seismic load this is minus 1 mean opposite of x direction add close now ez plus add seismic load select this is direction z and factor 1 add close ez minus add select seismic load direction z this is minus 1 add close so you can see we have already defined this load from here so this is the first way of defining load and using another way you can define load so i am just saving this one save then save as the model again earthquake second option now see how you can define the earthquake load in second option using flow rate so to assign this way you have to define this parameter as you have defined as option one so after assigning this parameter select this one then click add and go to here the last option flow rate then you have say here the flow rate means the dead load of the floor then i have the floor uh, floor weight means 5 in slab thick which is weight of 12.5 per square then plus 25 is my floor finish then i have another 50 which is the weight of beam and column so you can calculate weight of beam and column uh, after calculating all the length of beam then multiplied by beam width and beam depth excluding slab thickness then calculate weight and divide by the floor area then you will get a value which is psf and the same way you have to calculate weight of all column then divide by the floor area then you will get a load in psf then it may be 50 approximately 50 i have approximately 50 you may have this is plus or minus 50 so i have 137.5 total i am assuming this is 140 go to here this is minus 0.14 which is keep per square feet then minimum is 0 and i have maximum building height 69 feet so in case of earthquake you have defined this from 0 to 69 then add close so this is done and the same way i have shown you previously you have to define this and this defining load from in here wx wx plus minus wz plus minus is the same as option one so this way you can define earthquake load you can choose any option if you like most so thanks for watching my this video if you like the video please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video